All right, so, hey there now. So Goose uploads the entire show where Trey sat in the other night. It was nice to see a few familiar faces down in the chat throughout the show as well. And if you're a Goose fan and you stumble upon this at some point, they'll be like, oh, no, not this guy. Don't worry, man. This is not, I'm not going to be a regular thing, man. There's not going to be a lot of Goose parties happening over here. But I did, uh, and you know, what's like, kind of like other bands, you know, I don't want to name any names, any other bands in particular to compare it to, but... Sometimes with bands that I think maybe I'm not that into, once you start listening to them and kind of get into the rhythm and they really start jamming and then you realize that the vocals kind of come and go, that there's really more just music going on, you kind of get into it. You get into the flow and, you know, you're just kind of like, oh, well, this is really good. You know, and that definitely happened much more when the, uh, well, we'll start back at the first set with the acoustic set. Now, I guess this was just like a bonus set. I suppose Goose just normally does the two sets. I don't think this is a, a normal thing. Or maybe this tour it is. I don't know. It seemed like a special show for them there at Radio City. Man, that, that place looked huge, too, on their webcast. But, uh, so the acoustic sets, that's starting it out, you know, nah, that was definitely not going to be my thing. You know, I don't know. You get, you get, you got, got white guys over there hitting uh, percussion with their bare hands. Any kind of bongos or congas. Anytime any of that stuff's involved, man, I ain't into it, you know. I get some real weird vibes from that stuff. So I kind of skimmed through it a little bit, <clears throat> and it was kind of what I expected. So we got off to a rough start there. Well, that's all right. You know, that was just, that was like I said, it was just kind of a bonus. It was extra, whatever. And then the second set, Rockdale, I believe, was the song. Now, I don't really know. I'm not too familiar. They got a couple of songs that I would know, probably the title by hearing now at this point. But through the chat, I believe Rockdale was what opened up the second set. And then I don't know, you know, what when it became another song or whatever, but definitely hit a point in that song where they were just jamming for a while. And it was like, damn, here we go. And it did not, you know, and it started out, there was, you know, it sounded a little funky at one point early on in the second set there. And I was just like, all right, now this, this definitely does not sound like a... Uh, jam band x here for a while and there, there are times throughout you know and it's not i don't even believe it's a huge criticism but i mean every jam band at some point is guilty of it i feel like goose is probably comfortable with being a jam band right i mean they do in fact jam there was indeed some jamming going on there at radio city music hall and then um you know i'm not really familiar with any of the time maybe there was one other song that was a little bit familiar to me creatures i believe maybe one of the other shows i've listened to back from february uh, they played that one as well, and then, well, this is how, this is how big of a chomper I am, Drip, Dripfield, which they played with Trey, that was not on the original video they posted a day or two ago, um, <clears throat> that's, I guess that's the name of their album, it's the name of their tour, they got that cool video, they got the whole deal right, I thought it was Dipfield the whole time, so I found, learned that tonight, you know, you learn something new about Goose every day. <laughs> Found out that bass player, Mr. Macho over there. What we got here? I got the uh, I got the credits pulled up. Trevor got him listed right under Rick. Now I know Rick's a big deal, but right underneath him we got Trevor Weeks. Thought for sure that guy's name was Rodney. Called him Rod for short. I mean, it's a lot of man on that bass player. I'm not I'm not afraid to admit it. That, that guy that, he's more man than me. Now you know I don't know if that's some kind of shtick he's got going on or if that's a real deal. And I noticed at the end, you know, a lot of hugging going on with Trey. A lot of thanks. A lot of whispering in the ears, not with that guy. Just a firm handshake between him and Trey. Trey knew it. Trey was like, this guy does not accept hugs. This guy is way too macho. He will, he would probably have just crushed Trey. Probably Trey's hand was hurting after that handshake. So enough on old Trevor. Probably my favorite member of the band. Mostly just through intimidation. And then uh, the keyboard player, I mean, that guy plays guitar too. What's going on? I'm sure if you're a Goose fan, you're probably real into that. You know, I know a fish had, you know, I would be like, hey, yeah, man, our keyboard player, he plays guitar and keys. He can sing. He's got this mustache. He's got the whole deal, man. It is pretty cool, I guess. And the fact that they can just mix in an acoustic set. So I see a lot's going on there. You got a lot to be proud of if you're a Goose fan. You know, I just... It's like the shirt says, man. I wouldn't even say I'm not 100% sold. I guess I'm just not 100% into them. You know, I'm super into Billy Strings, obviously super into Fish. And uh, I just don't know if I got time, man. I don't know if I can make it the trio. <clears throat> well, Goose would perhaps make a uh, a nice uh, third member of the trio there. But, I mean, we got Igor over here on the monitors. <laughs> Pete. I like their names, too. They're like Pete and Ben and Trevor and Rick. You know, fucking Jeffrey, he's the wild one. Damn percussions, though, man. Everybody's on vocals, apparently, in this band. I don't know. So, 
Um, and unfortunately, no whiteboard. I did see somebody maybe in the comments, the actual comments, not the chat, did leave a uh, set list. I'll have to go through there. And uh, I don't know, the two songs they played after Dripfield right, were really cool, too. And maybe it's just, you know, hearing the familiar tones of Mr. Antipasta kind of keeps me going, kind of keeps me into it a little bit. But I feel like we got more jamming than we got singing. So that's always a plus with any band. No disrespect to the uh, to the vocals of the goose, but... And then you like, I like the crowd, you know, the goose, every time they get a chance, they scream out goose. Kind of reminds me of when like Aaron Boone or Brett Boone played for the Reds. Every chance fucking people got, they'd say it. So, all right, man. Thanks to Ben and Trevor and Rick and Pete and fucking Dave and Steve and Mike. Fries are into Jones in this band. Is there a Jones in this band? And of course, Trey Anastasio. And thanks again to everybody that, uh, has been watching the videos recently, and boom, we'll see you soon.